One of my favorite things about the foundation is that it actually is, is explicitly encouraging to be bold, be creative, be risky, try things that might fail. And when, often when you do that, you can just make the biggest discoveries. We're already seeing that this investment in my laboratory and other laboratories is really paying off. I can't underestimate the significance of the large amount of funding that was provided to enable us to uh, do the experiments that we did. The Pershing Square Zone Foundation really funds very innovative research, especially people at that early stage in their careers at the forefront of cancer research. Breakthrough work, we think, is the area that offers the most opportunity for really uh, tackling you know, major problems. And uh, we think young, motivated, creative scientists are really the best people to pursue that opportunity. And that opportunity is one that we can earn potentially enormous returns. There's a real multiplier effect. The idea that the support you do gets the research going, and then many other funding mechanisms are going to support that work once it's working. The Pershing Square Zone Prize provided us with the support, but also with the connections that really enabled us to take the work that we did in my lab to start a company. The prize was very helpful when I actually trying to seek funding towards like commercialization of my work. The key is supporting scientists to grow to be bold, grow to be embracing new technologies, new thinking, to get the best talents, to dedicate a lifetime to do something unique that could possibly be the next cure or game-changing treatment. The real strength of the Pershing Square Sean Prize is that we're selecting the very, very best scientists, and they are going to bring the biggest advantages to advancing cancer research in the future. We have now funded 25 young scientists in New York City, and we also are able to create this ecosystem around them that will bring each one of their research closer to a cure.